Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Business Solutions After 2020 Pandemic. I'm so glad you're here to join me today. On this first episode, we're going to talk about business in general and what that means in the 21st century, um, especially after COVID-19. One thing I want to say to you is we're going to discuss about earnings in the United States of America and how we're rising through this economic global setting, okay? First of all, I want to share that according to inlearning.com, another factor behind the rise in U.S. income inequality is that earnings have become less equal since the late 1970s. So, you know, you add the decades, together. You add the time frame from 1970 to 2021. Who's falling behind? Who's falling short? You know, how is families being supported? How are relationships withstanding the trauma of economic, you know, pandemics? How are we arriving at the pivotal point that business development is something that is important and that should be considered because everything has become isolated. When we individualize our lives, I feel that, and this is as a business owner and as a single grandparent today, I feel that we need to administer new ways of handling the success that brings about economic development success. So we're isolated, we're strained, we're minimalized. What do we need to do to create an unisolated society, um, develop a community that comes with a societal mindset that we need to be more creative, we need to be more valued in our creativity, and Who's going to back this creativity? Who's backing the creativity? That's the key. And that's what I want you to focus on when we think about business development in the 21st century. When you think about your creative idea, not just what is the research that you find about the idea or how many people surrounding your community in which you will be servicing your product how many people are actually doing what you're doing, there's more, there's a more in-depth deepness to creativity that you must analyze as you are creating your dream vision. You know, a vision board is something that I used way back in 2006 when I created my first grant-based um community project. And to this day, I'm still creating community projects and um, proposals and connections throughout my community and abroad. So these are very vital, essential tools that you're going to need. Many people run out and they purchase an LLC and then it sits It sits because the creativity and the expression behind the creativity was not driven hard enough to stay committed to, to stay loyal to. And then some people, you know, they create nonprofits to build a collaboration. And some people who are already established may not find it in their scope of reason to even connect with the new nonprofit. So then the new nonprofit becomes useless because they're fighting a battle uphill. But I'm going to show you ways in how you can continue to use your creativity and even in this isolated state of being, continue to move forward so that life can happen for you because everyone was given a gift and a talent and that's where we need to focus in order to project ourselves. And I want you to always consider that. I want you to always think that through. And from that point, we can get so far ahead of the game.
in small business development. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you have any advice, any suggestions on business in general, that's how we're going to start this series because I feel that we all need to put our input in and figure out how we're going to sustain ourselves in this global opportunity. Thank you. Peace and blessings. And we'll see you next time.